Hello, you two. Um, our last activity today is um, some art, which is really fun. Um, what we're looking at is actually, we're looking at animal coverings and particularly we're looking at pencil sketching. Okay. So what sketching is, is pretty much just drawing. Okay. It's taking a basic drawing of something. Um, what we're going to focus on is different ways and different techniques of sketching different animal covers. We've been kind of looking at animals um, in art so far this term. Um, we've done one about dinosaurs and giraffes and now we're going to do some about animal covering. So I hope you enjoy it. I thought I'd just explain to you, uh, particularly this slide, uh, particularly these four concepts, hatching, cross-hatching, blending, and stippling. Now, these techniques are going to help you with sketching. Now, sketching is a little bit more than just a drawing, okay? It's really focusing on what the animal looks like and trying to, when you're trying to sketch something, you're really trying to draw it as close as you possibly can um, to the original photo, if that makes sense. Now, you can use lines and shading um, to help with this. So lines can be thick or thin, dark or light, short or long, curved or straight, it doesn't really matter. And shading gives an object depth. So it can be black, white, or different shades. As you can see with this ball, it's really dark down this side, but it gets much lighter up towards the top. There's different ways that you can do this. There's hatching, and now as you can see, hatching is sort of just drawing lines in one direction, okay? The more lines and the closer together the lines are, the darker the shade is. The more further away they are, the lighter it is. So that's an example, hatching. Cross hatching is similar, but you actually cross. So you do lines going this way and you do lines going that way. It's the same thing, okay? The more close the lines are together, the darker the shade will be. The more further away they are, the lighter it will be. Now, blending is a, a little bit different. Blending is when you kind of color and you start by doing it really dark and as the object uh, changes, so you can see it best probably with this triangle, it's really dark at the top, but then it gets a little bit lighter as it comes out. So that's an example of blending. And then stippling is just you using dots, okay? It's called, it's just using dots. It's very similarly, uh, the more dots you have together, the darker the shade will be. All right, so I want you to just have a look through. There's just an example of different animal coverings to maybe give you a bit of inspiration for your artwork. So you have, you just have to answer what do you think this animal covering is. And there's a few different animals to look through. So have a go at that. And then, sorry, at that. And then you're going to try and sketch an animal of your choice. Okay, so you, pretty much you're just going to pick an animal. You can get a photo off the internet that you can kind of copy off if you like, or you can just use your own pet maybe. Maybe you have a dog that you want to draw or a cat or something like that. But the main thing that I want you to try and focus on is using one of those techniques that we talked about, hatching, cross-hatching, blending, and stippling, to do the animal covering, okay, to do its body and its skin. Um, as you can see here on these different snake skins, they look really, really detailed. I'm not expecting um, something as detailed as that, but just take your time. Um, Make sure your animal's nice and big. We don't want it small in the middle of the paper. We're going to use the whole piece of paper and just try your best and have fun with it and experiment with it. Maybe you'd like to practice on a separate sheet of paper, the hatching and cross hatching, and then come back um, to drawing your animal. Okay. You can upload a photo of your sketch there if you like. Big thing with these sketches is they don't actually need to have color. Okay. It can just be in lead pencil and the, the tone or the color of the animal actually changes. Um, through your technique, a bit dark, it'll be darker or lighter depending on how you do it. And then, this is an optional task. If you would prefer, um, you can just create a sculpture of an animal of your choice. You could use Play-Doh, paper, Lego, or anything else you can find around your house. If you think that might be a little bit better and you think you might enjoy that a little bit more, uh, we don't mind if you do that. And again, you can upload a photo of your animal sculpture there if you like.